Hi, I'm Bill McAnally with Touchstone Energy and Together We Save uh, project. We want to show the next wall section. This one really focuses on exterior construction. Uh, what we're trying to highlight is whenever we're applying uh, exterior sheeting to a wall, we really want to be able to have some foam insulation over the studs. What we would put this on for is to stop thermal bridging. All the cold air, let's say if it's zero outside and 70 inside, the cold air and the cold wants to go through the building structure. So we have to stop it from going through the wood. So what we do is we put usually one inch of extruded polystyrene like Dow, Certifoam, any of the colored foams are usually an extruded polystyrene. They're completely wrap the house. If, you're, uh, if you want extra uh, structural strength, you can sheet the house with oriented strand board or plywood, but then put one inch foam on the exterior. The reason that we have that foam, because of the thermal bridging, we also stop any chance of moisture condensation inside the, the uh, wall cavity. So once the foam is installed, we will cover that with a house wrap. In this case, we used uh, um, Tyvek uh, commercial wrap, which holds up longer if the building process is gonna go a little bit longer than you expect. Um, but we also are showing here a rain screen. There's several methods of doing a rain screen, but what it does is you, once the house wrap is up, we put a spacer. The spacers are lined up over the stud, so imagine this stud being right here. This would be right over the top of the stud. It gives a half inch gap between the siding and the house wrap, so it has a chance to dry. It kind of harkens back to the, the old days, the old sidings that would last 50, 60 years. is because they were loose and they had a chance for the air to work behind to get rid of the moisture. We want to be sure and use this whenever we're using any cement boards or OSB products or solid wood. You really don't have to use it if you're using vinyl or steel or aluminum. But we want to be able to let the back sides dry. There's a company called Trimtex that makes several products that you can use that have, a, it's not, instead of using wood, they have a drainage plane product, has vent materials on the bottom, vent on the top. Um, and it's really a nice system. So take a look at what the Trimtex has. Also in this, we, we're showing a man-made outside corner, a lot less maintenance. But the big key here, especially when we're showing here too, is we don't want moisture getting in here. So be sure and keep your siding and your corner boards a minimum of eight inches away from the top of the grass, not just the soil, but the top of the grass for landscaping. That will keep this whole wall section dry. And if it's dry, it's gonna stay warm.